Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. I wanted to introduce you to my tent life this year. Um, I have been living in this tent for five years every summer and uh, the summer is a little bit different which I knew it was going to be. Um, the tent ended up going up a bit late, about two months late or so and so um, schedules have changed things have changed but i wanted to give you kind of a quick tour of my tent as i do this every year and i welcome you to watch the years before and i'll try to i'll put them in the, uh, the end of this video um, i'll link to all those videos of me living in the tent years prior we were golden turning And you'll see how much different it was years prior compared to this year. This year, I kind of consider this more of like the the absolute basics of, of what I need is inside this tent right now. Um, it changed a lot last year, but the tent's only going to be up for about two months. So um, didn't feel like bringing everything out and uh, guarding it against all the, the rats that we've been having in the area. So. Um, I just like just kept it down to the basics, which has actually been kind of a fun challenge to do so. And, you know, to be in the tent and not have all my little amenities and stuff. Uh, not, I'm not glamping as much, I would say, you know, I don't have all my cool lights and everything that I've had before, but, um, but it's still good. Okay, let's give a little tour to the inside of my tent. I have a cot in there and there's only one cot if you noticed and most of the time when I have my kids here it's only been one at a time and uh, they kind of been alternating a little bit so it's been kind of convenient however coming up I will have both the kids here at the same time so I will be bringing two cots and then I will be sleeping on the deck. Um, not a big deal um, to me right now it is all about what is fast what is easy um, you know before I have made this more of a glamping type tent and that is a lot of fun but as you guys know of last year the rats destroyed um, they did about $500 worth of damage inside my tent so this year I just decided since I was only going to have it up for about a month and a half or two months that I was going to just make it the bare minimums. Um, I do have a wood stove, which to me is ideal. And this year I have been using it a lot because it has been raining a lot. And at night it does get down into the 30s degrees Fahrenheit. So it is pretty cold at night and it's been really nice and toasty to have that fire. And I have to admit, I am, I am so happy I can have fires now because 
it's been a while since I've been having any fires and, and having fun just, you know, practicing my skills because we've been in a fire band, it seems like, for the last two years. So this has been um, a really nice change this year, being that we have a lot of moisture on, on the ground and, and coming down. You'll see that I brought two um, fold-up chairs. A lot of times I'm only setting up one fold-up chair that you saw me do this morning, but it is really nice to be able to lay in those. You can, oh, I, I can almost just use that as a bed. It almost lays down flat. It is so nice to have that and sit on the deck and just relax. And um, conveniently, it overlooks my cabin build. I am not collecting water this year. Usually, um, every year, I've collected water for Rocky. Um, and this year, what I'm doing is um, I am bringing up water. So I have extra water that I'm storing here for Rocky. I just decided that I just didn't want to deal with the barrel at this point and you know maybe in years to come I, I will end up dealing with the barrel as I put the tent up but for this year it was just something else I just didn't want to do when I was putting down the tent is emptying out the barrel and bleaching it out and so forth so I'm just bringing in my own water. Now, some of you know that I do have a well here. However, my well still has not been tapped and I'm not able to get water from my well at this point, but I do hope towards the fall that that's gonna end up happening and I will be able to have water um, coming from my cabin. <laughs> that would be very nice to have water. Um, I have been missing it and I will be using this barrel possibly on the cabin or maybe keeping it out here. I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do. Um, you know, the future is unknown. Some of you don't know because I don't, I haven't been filming as much this year, but I've had bears at my property. I have had two bears come to the property and they have, um, I guess try to uh, get into my bear bin in my kitchen area. Now, because I am in bear territory, I have my kitchen separate from my tent, so it is nowhere near where I am sleeping. And so I have been very lucky and that a bear has not been um, getting inside my tent, but they have been on my deck and they go to my kitchen area and try to get in that bear bin. Now, when they're trying to get in the bear bin, there is no food in that bear bin. All that's there is my stove and some pots and pans and stuff that are clean, but they can go ahead and smell the, the, the food and um, they're really liking that bear bin this year, <laughs> which I am very happy. It's one of my best purchases that I have purchased. Um, when I've had this tent. I have really liked my kitchen area here. This is a, a newer kitchen area, it's like the second area. And I have a nice table to sit at where before my table was almost falling apart, um, but it was just kind of more fun. You know, this one seems a little bit more like camping and more of like a camping type table. A lot of times we gather around that table um, in the kitchen area. So it has been really nice to have a larger kitchen area to, to cook and gather. Also inside my tent, I have a battery charger. This one is a solar, solar generator battery charger. I did do a review on it, so if you want to see the review on this one, um, it is in my videos. I have a lot of videos, so go check them out on my channel, and you'll be able to see a review on that. But this is the one that I've been using the most this year, and the reason for that is because it's really lightweight, and um, it works pretty well. I do have a computer and such, um, however, I have power at my cabin if I really need to charge my computer, so I've been using that a little bit more. But it's nice to have power inside the tent. Sometimes, you know, we're charging batteries for my cameras or we're charging some lights and, and stuff like that. So um, it is nice to have a little bit of power here at the tent. I'm going to talk a little bit about my canvas tent because I do get asked every year about the canvas tent. The canvas tent is 14 feet by 16 feet and I have purchased this canvas tent at coloradoyurt.com. I am in no way being sponsored by Colorado Yurt, but I just wanted to let you know because I do get a lot of questions. I actually I paid for this full price. There is no sponsorship or anything like that regarding this tent. 
I completely recommend this tent. It's really, really nice. Now, it depends on what you want to do. Now, this doesn't have any internal frames or anything to it, so it's all just held up by the side and a ridge pole on the top. I do think, does, and again, I don't, I do think some other canvas tents might be easier to set up than this one. This one takes a little bit of time. I think if you get a tent like this, you already have it arranged so that you have the sides that can come up. You like you already kind of figure out where it's going to be. And it might be something like, like myself, I built a deck and I knew it was going to be here all the time. I don't think this canvas tent I would actually bring out into the wilderness and put up in a random spot. I think it'd be very, you could do it, but I just don't think it'd be, um, as useful as some of those internal frame um, canvas tents. I think those are a little bit easier to set up than this one. This one is pretty heavy. So the tarp that's above the tent is 75 pounds. And then the tent itself is a hundred and something. I don't remember. I want to think it's like 150 pounds possibly would be the tent. Um, so it does take, you can't do it on your own. I mean, I have so many people tell me I can put up this tent on my, my own, but I'm telling you, I just, that's way too much weight for me. Um, this year, I think we had like five adults around to help put up the tent. Um, but when it came to the lifting, it was three adults that actually lifted the tent up. But, um, wanted to kind of give you kind of a heads up if you're looking at purchasing a tent like this um, it does take a little bit of manpower um, you really can't do it on your own i have seen other channels um, other actually a woman i've seen a woman um, that is a girl in the woods she uh, brooke over there she has put up her own tent that was an internal frame it was a canvas tent and i saw her put it up herself so um, there it is possible to do some of these canvas tents on your own i just don't think this one is really possible to do by yourself because it does take it takes some effort <laughs> it really does um, just wanted to kind of let you guys know about the tent because i do get asked a lot of questions um, it is the best purchase i have made well other than you know, purchasing this land that i have here um, it is one of the best purchases i have ever made in my life and it has completely changed me and um has enabled me to be in the wilderness more and live out here and that's truly what I want to do like I just I love my land I love where I'm at it, it gives me joy and peace and just having even though it, it's not a house um, I am building a house but I'm like even though it's not a house um, it doesn't have any structural walls it feels like home to me you know as soon as it goes up it, it just feels like home so um, if you're thinking of purchasing a canvas tent and living in it I recommend something like this I think that would be really nice if you have any questions regarding my canvas tent please leave it in the comments by um, below and I will do my best to answer every question that you possibly have if you're looking for something like this and on my channel a lot of times um, I you know I come out here there's sometimes friends are here sometimes my my daughters I have two daughters and they come here and join me and um, I film it and it's kind of like a vlog on a YouTube so if, feel free to subscribe and watch some more this video I was just wanting to keep kind of short and simple and just kind of show you some of the stuff that I have on the inside of my tent and just a little bit more description of my canvas tent. So I'm going to go ahead and start filming a regular video for you guys, but I wanted to do this short one for you. So thanks for joining me. And again, any questions, let me know. Bye-bye.